everybody faces depression, but it's just to like to talk about it. Yeah. Two questions from that. That means that you faced depression. Plenty past. times. Right. What kinds of things will trigger that and how do you come out of it? Um, one of the things that trigger that is sometimes when you let people get to you. Mm. Don't let people get to you. Mm. Or when someone close disappoints you. Yeah. Someone like me, they have a lot of friends, but also don't have a lot of friends. Mm -hmm. When someone in your intimate camp yeah. disappoints you, it hurts. Mm -hmm. See now, that's not the people on the comment session. That's people in your circle. In your circle. So it hurts because you're human. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it might put you off. So you're not looking at every other person in that circle and what's going on here. Yeah. So at that point, yeah, you do go into some kind of depression. Mm, mm. The word depression is vast. So let people not misunderstand it. Depression can be defined. It's a long definition. There are different kinds of depression. You know, it can be short term. It can be long term. It can be, there are all kinds of depression. Physical, emotional, spiritual. It is vast. Yeah. So let's not abuse that word, mm. depression. Mm, mm, mm. But which one are you talking about in this case? But uh, emotional. Emotional, right. Yeah. So short term. Short term, yeah, yes. short term. So it's not clinical depression. No, no. It's the kind of things that you go through life and things bring you down. Yeah, and then you have yeah. to shake it off. You have to shake it off. Yeah. Do you just shake it off or does something have to happen? Do you have to withdraw? You no, know, for me, I just have to shake it off. I have to stand up and be like, you know. Ugh. Just keep moving. Yeah, keep moving. You uh -huh. have to. The question you have to ask yourself is, are you done? Mm. Is this the end of the road? Mm. Which is why sometimes people commit suicide. Because yeah. they have drawn the line. So for me, that I just started enjoying life. <laughs> I have to remind myself, guy, you haven't had sex in Monaco yet. <laughs> <laughs> Still things to do, you know? <laughs> so, so perspective and then you keep moving. Right. This alleged six women Six babies, same time. Right. Real life or art? To me, it's real life. <laughs> no, you're trying to scam me. Which one is to me? Which one is to me? Is Pretty Mike the father of six kids from six women at the same time? Yes. Right, right. But it's also art? No. It's a mystery. So, you can... You can father six kids or more, and they're not being biologically your kids. You know, I, I, I get shocked when people think, think the way they think, and say, he fathered six kids. So let's even agree, technically, that you have six girlfriends. And let's say technically, all six of them you impregnated them, let's say, the same month or within a two or three months period, right? Mm -hmm. Let's even hypothetically, because it's possible, right? <sighs> Women, as notorious as they are, will never agree to come out and follow you in public. I don't care how rich you are. <laughs> Out of six of them, two will say, no, I'm having a headache. No, I'm going to give you 500 billion. No. Because they believe if you're going to give them 500 billion, you can give them one billion. I mean, they, you know, some will rebel. And that's being realistic. So sometimes in our environment, can we be realistic? Yeah. Think, really. think. I, I used to think Nigerians were the smartest in the world while I was in, nine, while I was in the U.S. But, but coming back to reality, mm, mm. We, we still have a long way to go. Let's talk about the things that Nigerians talk about a lot these days with you, which is um, your dramatic okay. <laughs> showing up. You right. know, at events. Right. I, I came to that because 
Um, so you know when I'm doing an interview with Pretty Mike, people think that okay, that's what that's what I want to talk about. Yeah, that's, first, but that's I, the first thing. Right. Yeah, right. but usually what I want to do is when you watch somebody, you see an interesting character, you right. see a thoughtful character. Right. You think to say, ah, what's going on behind this person's mind? Exactly. Why is this happening? Because things don't always. Right. Just uh, like I tell people, I'm actually an introvert. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah, but a lot of people think I'm extra. So yeah. they're like, no, it's not possible. I'm like, well, the only thing that makes me an extra is the business mm. side of it. Mm -hmm. So as an intro, mm -hmm. if the money is out there, I can switch. <laughs> I can adjust. Yeah. I can say, well, you know what? If we're partying, two, four, seven, mm -hmm. once I'm done partying, I'm, I'm back into my cocoon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why do you still need to do that, though, if you're now in management and you're not really in the club business? Right. Why do you still need to do these things? Uh, relevance is key. Right. I, I, you don't want to be sidelined. I'm not, and I refuse to be sidelined, meaning on the bench. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm on the bench mm -hmm. and I'm making more money. Mm -hmm. So I'd rather be on the bench and still cheerleading the team. Thank you for joining our YouTube channel. I know, I hope um, you loved that video and you connected with it don't forget please subscribe please like please share with your friends and family please comment we love to see your comments and to see the full versions join our community right now all past episodes on watch.withtoday.com let's be human together